This is a story of how my mom nearly killed my girlfriend. Flashback to 2012. I was in college and I was dating a girl at the time. Like things are going very well. We'd already been on our various dates, the McDonald's, uh, the cheeky Nando's. I wanted to take it a step further and invite her over to my house. This was a massive risk because my mom is super strict. What are you watching? Turn off this dirty program. And my mom does not want me to have a girlfriend, but I knew that my mom would have been working late that day. So she came over and we're playing Call of Duty and she's actually surprisingly very good. Like she's way better than I thought. Like she's getting all the perks. She is throwing grenades, blasting all of these zombies to hell. She's bloodthirsty. But it was getting a bit late. You know, I didn't want to push my luck too much. So I suggested that, you know what, Claire, uh, maybe you should go home. Just as she was about to leave. I hear the door and I am wishing, praying that a robber about to come into my house because that would be better than my mom walking in and seeing me with Claire. So I get up, like very slowly, and I creep, and I just take a little peek and it's my mom and I am scared. I'm thinking all hell is about to break loose. I knew Claire's gonna be kicked out. What are you doing in my house? Get out and take that boy with you. Um, I'm gonna have to go and live with Claire. I'm gonna have to live with her family. And they're gonna have to adopt me or something. Yeah, I was, I was shaking them. But my mom walks in, right? And she looks at Claire. She smiles and she's like, oh, hello, how are you? Hugs her. She doesn't even hug me. So I'm thinking she's got an ulterior motive. She's about to do something crazy. She starts talking to Claire. What do you do? How, how is your studies? Why did you two meet? And I'm like, what the heck is going on? I'm so confused. So I give Claire a signal, you know, like a, a little look. And Claire sees it, thankfully. And she says to my mom, I'm so sorry, I've got to go, you know, I've got college in the morning and my mom says oh why don't you stay for dinner have you ever had authentic nigerian jollof huh she wants to cook her jollof the jollof that i receive on my birthday she's getting birthday jollof i said something is definitely going on she goes off to, to put bags down and to head back to the kitchen so i'm thinking she cannot like claire this much anyway it's dinner time i look at the table and everything is set there's mountains of jollof and everything smells amazing. Claire, how are you finding jollof? It's so amazing and she's eating it. We're all eating, all happy. I'm like, wow, I should have done this years ago. Why, why was I so scared? As I'm about to eat my chicken, Claire starts coughing. I didn't think anything of it. I just thought she was rushing her food so I passed her some water. But it gets worse and it gets to a point where she just drops on the floor. And then I notice she's got like this red rash forming around her mouth. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I, is, is this girl having like a, an allergic reaction? Um, so I, I call the ambulance and, and the paramedics arrive and, and they check out Claire and they tell us that it's the spice. Like the food is just way too spicy. My mom says, ah, this rice isn't spicy. And then she tries to offer some to the paramedic. I don't know why, because obviously they can't just eat random food from random people's houses. As we're on our way to the hospital, I receive a text message on my phone from my mom. So I was expecting it to read, how is she? Is everything okay? How are her lips? But instead of it saying any of those things, it said, next time, bring home a Nigerian girl. Did my mom just try and kill my girlfriend because she's not Nigerian?